Hey guys, Jared from Red Rollers here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to properly clean the slide on your striker fire handgun. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree. All right, time to tackle probably one of the dirtiest parts other than the barrel, that's the slide. So we're gonna start, you're gonna inspect the slide, look at it, see where places of heavy buildup are, which is usually gonna be back and down here, sometimes up here. Inspect the rails to make sure there's no damage or obstruction. Look all around the slide, and it looks like there's no damage or anything, it's just dirty. So let's get started. Take my trusty CLP, spray down the inside. And one thing to note, with a lot of striker fire guns, you really don't wanna saturate the firing pin channel. You don't want gunk in there. Uh, when you spray a CLP in there, it will break down solvents, but it could also clump up and that could cause performance issues. So just make sure you're not really saturating this area and letting a bunch fall into here. You don't normally need to take the firing pin out for cleaning. Uh, obviously go off your manufacturer's recommendation in the manual, but that's usually not necessary at all. Just make sure when you're cleaning, you're kind of staying away from spraying directly into that firing pin channel. Now that it's saturated, I'm gonna take my trusty nylon brush. I'm just gonna go through, get a lot of that gunk and build up off. Go down, make sure you're getting into those little rails. And I am gonna go over back here just because there is kind of some build up. Make sure it's clean. And I'm gonna clean the top where the barrel sits right here. I'm gonna flip it over. And just this little area right here can get really nasty. This is where your firing pin comes out and hits your primer. So there's usually a lot of build up and grime back here. So cleaning this is always a good idea. Just think of any surface on here that could be dirty and just give it a once over. Depending on where your barrel is, you may have some buildup around the front here. If your barrel's more recessed in the slide, you'll definitely have a lot of buildup, but if you're using a threaded barrel, you won't have as much, so don't expect a whole lot. But it's always good to make sure everything's getting cleaned appropriately. So now I've loosened up a lot of the grime and dirt, I'm gonna take my t-shirt rag yet again, open it up, and I'm just gonna go in here and wipe out all that solvent and all that grime. Look at that, nasty. I'm gonna go over every surface that I scrubbed, constantly changing and flipping around my t-shirt rag or towel or whatever you use just to make sure you're not spreading some dirt and grime that you just cleaned off right back into it. Clean up the outside. Make sure that's good to go. And I usually like to grab the t-shirt rag or the towel and just kind of run it through here. Just like that, just to get that little area where the firing pin sits. And I am seeing some buildup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Q-tip. I'm gonna go in and just kinda scrape it away. So I'm gonna clean all that out. I'm gonna get the tip and I'm just gonna run through the rail really quick just to make sure. Look at all that that was in the rail. So this one's pretty saturated. I'm gonna grab a new one. Do this side. Look at that. Run through again. I'm basically just gonna clean until there's no more grime rubbing off, there's no more dirt. Looks good to me. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just wipe off the outside. Just cause I got oily hands, oily gloves, overspray. Get that nice and clean. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to the lower. If you want to watch the full video on how to clean your gun, click the link up in that corner. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, get that bell on. If you want to check out more about us, visit the link in our description. Thanks guys. See you next time.